Jeremy Corbyn campaign t-shirts made by Bangladeshi workers earning 30p an hour. A Jeremy Corbyn campaign group has cancelled a contract with its merchandise supplier over claims t-shirts were made by Bangladeshi workers earning just 30p an hour. Momentum, a campaign group set up to support Jeremy Corbyn's leadership, sells t-shirts for £10 at rallies and through their website. One design features Jeremy Corbyn's name written in the style of the classic Superman logo. But the Mail on Sunday said that it had found machinists living in poverty-stricken conditions were required to work 10 hours a day to make the garments which were sold for £10 each by the Momentum Campaign Group. Corbyn has previously attacked high street retailers for selling clothes made in appalling working conditions. Momentum said it had cancelled the contract for the T-shirts suggesting that it may have been misled by one of its suppliers in relation to labour practices at the factory. However the Mail on Sunday said the factory concerned was owned by the same firm which was revealed by the newspaper to have paid factory workers in Nicaragua and Haiti as little as 49p an hour to make the official Team Corbin T-shirts for his first labour leadership bid. Momentum said it wanted to ensure a zero-tolerance policy on unethical practices anywhere in the supply chain and would be seeking a new supplier with full ethical standards. The move has been taken after allegations surfaced that Momentum and one of its suppliers may have been misled by a third-party supplier in relation to its labor practices. The group said it would draw up a code of practice capable of maintaining confidence in spite of the complexity of modern supply chains, that all campaign materials have been produced by businesses that respect labor rights and human rights. A spokesman said, Momentum is dedicated to championing people's rights at work both at home and overseas. We want every worker at home and abroad to be in a trade union, and to enjoy the full protections that the ILO, International Labor Organization, recommends as minimum standards. We refuse to work with any supplier who does not uphold these standards. The Mail on Sunday reported that the basic salary at the factory in Bipale, near the capital Dhaka, was around £63 a month, well below the average wage in Bangladesh of £93. Employees were said to live in shandy towns made of corrugated iron sheets by a polluted river with several family members sleeping together in cramped rooms. In a 2014 debate in the House of Commons on Bangladesh, Mr Corbyn said, if Bangladesh then raises its wages to any decent level, the danger is that the garment industry will up sticks and go somewhere else. We have to think about the cheap clothes that we buy on the high streets of this country, and indeed of the United States and the rest of Europe, and the appalling working conditions that are behind all that. Momentum was originally set up last year as the campaign to elect Jeremy Corbyn leader of the Labour Party. It became momentum following his victory, but since the leadership contest was announced, it has legally changed its name to Jeremy for Labour Limited. The group have today withdrawn the merchandise section of their website. website.